Hi, I'm Jay Lucas. And I'm Kieran Lucas. And I'm Jack Botman. <laughs> and welcome to the Sunshine Report, special edition this week with a terrific topic. It's a, the topic is an abundance of hope, which is really just so important in life and uh, basically in everything we do, this idea that hope allows us to achieve things and accomplish things that we otherwise wouldn't be able to do without that really can-do mentality, really, wouldn't you say? Exactly. And I actually want everyone to think about that. What does hope mean to you as we share this moment with all of you and here with Jack? Well, in fact, to introduce Jack Podvin, he's one of the most optimistic uh, people I know, and he's the founder of uh, Project Happy. And we're just delighted to have Jack with us this week. Because he really is. I think he lives the spirit of, and he has an abundance of hope and he shares that with other people. Absolutely, yeah. I think, you know, for me, it's just a matter of having this, this you know, positive spirit that we bring into, you know, into our projects and, uh, and having a grand vision and, you know, keeping the optimism through the highs, through the lows. Um, and uh, in startups, there's many, but, you know, we keep the positivity and, and things, you know, things continue to work out and uh, be able to have a phenomenal positive impact on people, on our communities. And, uh, it, and it's a lot of fun. Well, you know, um, hope really is uh, the essence of uh, what we're doing with the Sunshine Initiative, the American Sunshine Movement. It's bringing hope to not just people as individuals, but also hope to communities. Um, the idea that uh, in, in many small towns and communities around our country, uh, opportunities aren't today what they have been, you know, years ago. We want to bring those opportunities back because it's not just the, what I'll call the economics side of it, which is kind of how we often think about poverty, poverty being poverty of dollars, but really it's a poverty of hope. And if you can bring that hope back and that can-do mentality, the positive spirit, truly anything, anything is something that can be accomplished if you really set your mind to it. Well, it's also the future, right? You're thinking about today and you're thinking about what, what can you achieve today? And I always think of hope as a word that says, you know, I hope I can do this today, but think about it is that you're going to do that. That's where you said the can-do attitude, right? And the positivity and being able to be in that place of happiness as well. So hope is not just about, you know, a word that is just, I want to say complacent. It's, a, it's really a word that is about the future and what you're doing today and getting to that future. Well, and I love it as Jack, just, Jack really embodies uh, this idea of positivity and hope. And just talk a little bit about Project Happy, which I think is such a phenomenal, explain what it is and kind of the mission of Project Happy, Jack. Absolutely, Jay. So uh, Project Happy is really here to help connect our young people to our communities. And so, you know, we, we see some of these unfortunate things in our communities, where there's some kids that might be going through things like depression or anxiety. And, um, and, you know, it's just we've seen the impact of getting involved, giving back, helping others, meeting new friends, right? Yeah. All these amazing things that community involvement can bring. And, you know, for us, we've really zeroed in on, on volunteering. Um, some kids will go and, you know, organize a group and they'll, you know, work it with a history museum and help, you know, get people excited about American history. Some other folks will, you know, help with food insecurity and uh, to see, you know, teenagers, you know, rallying together in the name of doing good and, um, and you know, having Project Happy be that place that helps facilitate it. It's been, it's been, you know, so awesome to see. Uh, and, and it's really helped our nonprofits, you know, 6,000 nonprofits here in New Hampshire. The average volunteering age here in New Hampshire is 60 years old. And so, wow. you know, Project Happy is really here to help just bridge that gap. Want to bring youth into the whole volunteer and, and being really involved in their communities. And Jack, where, if people want to find out more about Project Happy, where do they, where do they go for that? Sure thing. Yeah. Project Happy, you can find us at projecthappy.world. Um, <laughs> And um, yeah, feel free to go to the website and you'll find more about uh, our project there. So exciting. Well, and, and it's so so much similar in so many ways to what we're doing in Sunshine Initiative. And a very exciting thing in the last uh, week or so, we just launched um, our new website. So if you want to go to americansunshinemovement.org, you can learn about, um, I think, how we're really trying to address this uh, poverty of hope by bringing a, an abundance of hope to communities around. That's right. Around their country. Uh, wow. aiming, for, aiming to get to a thousand communities, small towns and communities across America. This is so exciting. You know, it's great having Jack here with us and Project Happy. And um, the hope for, the, for today, tomorrow, and the future. Absolutely. So positive, right? Yeah, exactly. So positive. Exactly. And as we always like to say here at the Sunshine Report, it's positive energy that inspires positive change 
that produces positive Positive results. results. (laughs) (laughs) Have a great week, everybody. And just keep that hope. Keep that hope going.